present for you the rectus femoris villi rupture. Uh, I reviewed this uh, 30 years old uh, gentleman uh, complaining of uh, pain in the anterior aspect of the thigh with a gap. This gap is about more than eight centimeter. Uh, he sustained uh, stretching trauma as he was jogging on uneven ground. Suddenly, he felt that it's something killing him in the anterior aspect of the thigh. And he stopped. He was not able to continue his jogging anymore. He went immediately to the hospital, <coughs> seen by emergency, seen by orthopedic doctor, diagnosed as uh, rectus femoris rupture, and uh, patient received non steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs for one year. He received physiotherapy, but he is he is functionally he has weakness. Functionally he has weakness. Uh, he is very sportman and his muscle. Uh, he is very musculature, especially in the lower extremities. No history of diabetes mellitus or hypertension. Uh, he is un unhappy. So uh, I saw him in October. I did the clinical examination. There is a gap. There is swelling, soft tissue swelling in, in the proximal third of the thigh. And uh, you know, the rectus femoris muscle is uh, bi articularly working on the hip and the knee joint. In the hip joint, it works as for flexion, and in the knee joint, in the, uh, the knee joint for flexion and for the hip extension, and raising for the leg. In comparison to the left side, it was weak. <clears throat> okay, I told him this is rectus femoris villi <coughs> rupture. Usually, we are leaving it. He told me, but I'm trying to leave it, but I have always, all the time, cramping. I have been at my power is, in comparison to the other side, uh, is weak. And I have to do every day uh, gym activities, and he was unhappy. I remember one case before uh, about one year, Achilles tendon rupture for a young patient. Uh, it was delayed rupture about uh, three months and the muscle belly was retracted. What I did for this Achilles tendon uh, rupture patient, I did for him uh, <coughs> V epsilon or VY uh, plastic surgery. I kept him in posterior back slab for, for six weeks, eight weeks, then we start for him physiotherapy and uh, he started after that, after three months, to play football, and he's doing very well. So this surgery came back to my mind. I told him, okay, I did for one person this and this. If you want, we can do the same thing. I looked in the literature, in the books, or in the Google, or whatever. There is nothing mentioned at all about rupture of the belly of the rectus femoris. Here is the gap. I told him, okay, if you want to do something, here is the, the swelling of the rectus femoris, and here is the gap. I told him, if you will do something, I will do V plastic, uh, V Y plastic surgery. But I will give you the chance of 50%. I will never give you 100%. It may, it may be failed also. He told me, I will go with you. I, he told me, I will go with you. So just we will uh, remember the, so here is the, how I can? Yeah, yeah just press the next slide. Here is the MRI findings. You see here the rectus femoris. Here is intact and here it's coming less and less. Fibrous tissue, only fibrous tissue.
Okay, just brief reminding about the anatomy of the rectus femoris. Rectus femoris is coming in front of the uh, thigh, anterior to the quadriceps muscle. It has two head. The long head uh, originates from the anterior inferior in the spine, and the short head origin from the groove above the acetabulum. And its function, as I told, flexion in the hip joint and flexion in the knee joint. The nerve uh, supply, the femoral nerve L234. Here. I told him, okay, I will go you for, for surgery. His father, after the surgery, he told me that my, his father was with him. He told me, son, please don't do it. You can walk, you can do whatever you want. Okay, with weakness, no problem. But please don't do it. He told him, I will do it. Okay, after investigation and all, here is the incision in front of the thigh about about 12 centimeter. Here is the <coughs> scar tissue and the proximal belly for the proximal stump of the rectus femoris. I removed the scar tissue. I tried to excise the scar tissue. Then I mobilized the proximal belly from its origin. I mobilized the proximal stump from its origin as much as I can to, to push it proximal or distally. And the distal belly also mobilized to push it up. And I did, I did V shape incision in the distal third. Then I, I have sutured. <coughs> in Y shape with uh, two vicar suture. Then I close it. I put the patient in posterior back slab <coughs> from mid thigh till the <coughs> ankle joint. I told him, you are not allowed to walk or to put any weight bearing for at least six to eight weeks. And he did. After Eight weeks, we start physiotherapy and rehabilitation. After 10 weeks, here is the result. With full weight bearing. Full function. And the patient is very happy. chronic rupture of any muscle, not only the rectus femoris muscle. If we have a chronic rupture, trust yourself, make suturing, and it will heal properly. Thank you so much for your time.